Psychic Guru had an amazingly productive CES 2024 over in Las Vegas. One company we didn't post a video for at CES was AMD, but the fact is we did visit AMD's suite, and we saw a handful of things of deep interest. So let's take a quick look at our rather brief vertical video of AMD, and then let's dig into some of the detail. Kit Guru is with AMD at CES 2024. We've got a large room full of products. The fact is that CES has been mainly about Intel and Meteor Lake, or Core Ultra as we must now call it. But all these laptops and indeed these handhelds are powered by AMD. We cannot begin to claim the AMD Instinct MI300X is a kit guru kind of product. It's all about AI acceleration and the data center. Look at that heatsink. And then look at the specification and the chip itself. A huge piece of silicon with stacked HBM3, 192 gigabytes of HBM3, 304 GPU cores, 5.3 terabytes of memory bandwidth. We're never going to install these in a PC. We couldn't afford them for one second. However, they're hugely impressive. And this is the MI300A, a data center APU. 24 Zen 4 cores, 228 GPU cores, and 128 gigabytes of HBM3 stacked on die. But the thing that's really caught my eye is this. A PC that looks like they left out the graphics card. And the explanation is, they have left out the graphics card because this PC runs the new Ryzen 7 8700G. Eight cores and 16 threads, boost to 5.1 gigahertz, 65 watt TDP, and it has Radeon 780M graphics. The price of this APU is $329. And the claim by AMD is that this APU can play any game on the market at 1080p. You might have to reduce image quality, but this is a 1080p gaming chip. No graphics card required. You can, of course, install a graphics card when you later have the money if you're a young person who's a bit skint. But in the first instance, the APU gets you up and running. Now, be honest. Don't you think it looks a bit spooky to see what should be a non-functioning PC functioning perfectly? I'm going to sign off as we look at eight AMD Instinct MI300s all clustered together. I'm not going to grab any of those handles. I'm not going to pull out any of those units. But goodness me, doesn't that look absolutely awe-inspiring? Remember, kitguru.net on the web and kitguru tech on YouTube. As you saw there, AMD was showing off their impressive array of MI300 Instinct AI accelerators. However, that is not KitGuru territory. They are also showing a desktop APU, and that's much more our territory. However, they were also talking about other products. So let's take a quick look at AMD's product deck and see what exactly they were talking about at CES 2024. Ryzen 8040 series of laptop processors. These use Zen 4 CPU cores, RDNA 3 graphics, and they have an NPU for AI. We have some comparison charts showing the Ryzen 7 8840U against Intel's Core Ultra 7155H. It so happens I have an ASUS ZenBook on test right now with that Intel processor. So I know something about the Intel processor and I have to take AMD's figures at the moment on trust. You will notice these are relative scores, they are not absolute benchmark figures. So AMD is claiming the lead in AI processing, and they show a series of bar charts in a number of different benchmarks. They also claim they have the lead in gaming. There's no doubt Intel's latest ARC graphics are perfectly decent for a laptop, but we have faith that AMD is at heart a graphics company, and we would expect AMD to at the very least take the fight to Intel, or as they claim, to beat them comprehensively. And in a series of mobile productivity benchmarks, AMD once again claims the lead. And then we move on to the desktop APUs, the 8000G processors. The fact is we're looking at Zen 4 products with RDNA 3 graphics, so it might be a bit of a stretch to call them 8000, when 7000 would do perfectly well as a name. So AMD is using Radeon 700M graphics in these APUs and they're claiming a very good gaming experience. Full HD and 60 plus FPS in a whole series of game titles. And of course when you're ready to upgrade to an RTX 7900 XTX you can expect a monumental surge in frame rates. 
AMD's point is that their APU comes with a decent processor and also reasonable graphics and then you can upgrade your graphics at a later date. The comparison here is the Core i5-13400F and a cheap GeForce 1650 graphics card and that combination of parts costs about $100 more than a Ryzen 7 8700G. And here AMD is talking about the fact they have an AI portfolio. Quite what the AI core is doing in this APU is a bit of a puzzle at the moment. AMD addresses this point. Why do we need the AI PC? It's for performance, security, future cost and efficiency which arguably means that every existing processor is now behind the times. And we see they have a lineup of four models in the 8000G series. The Ryzen 7 8700G, 8 cores, 16 threads, decent speed, 65 watt TDP, 780M graphics. The Ryzen 5 8600G, as you'd expect, only has six cores, very slightly slower, still 65 watts, and Radeon 760M graphics. The Ryzen 5 8500G, looks as though it's been cut down rather further and at the bottom of the chart the Ryzen 3 8300G is not a part that we will ever buy it's for system integrators only. Also curiously Ryzen 5000 for AM4 this platform still has legs Ryzen 750 700X 3D slightly slower than the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D and a good bit cheaper and they're comparing this part to the Core i5 13600K which was a stonking processor. Also a Ryzen 7 5700, a 65 watt part, goes to 4.6 gigahertz, eight cores, 16 threads. And they're claiming decent gaming performance and comparable to the Core i5 12400F. Also the Ryzen 5 5600 GT and the Ryzen 5 5500 GT, both 65 watt parts, six cores, 12 threads, and they have built-in graphics. These parts packaged with a Wraith Stealth cooler. The performance claims for these two parts look perfectly decent, and there we see the new updates to the Ryzen 5000 series. And this means that AMD now has an enormous stack of processors at the very top, the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D, and all the way down the bottom, if we ignore the Athlon, a Ryzen 3 3200G. As I said earlier, the parts that AMD had on show at CES 2024, there wasn't a huge amount to say at the time, which is why that video is so short. However, their Ryzen 8000G APUs certainly look interesting, and they launch at the end of this month. So we haven't got very long to wait for reviews, and I can't wait to see how they turn out. Remember, we're on TikTok, and also it's kickguru.net on the web.